When you have numerous media assets to manage, or your project involves complex layouts, do you want to streamline your editing process, boost work efficiency, and make playback control more convenient? Our mapping layout function in Hirender software could help you adapt to different playback scenarios. With just four steps, you can easily master this process for this function. There are two types about this function. The first one is one single video can be sliced to several images to display through this function. And the second one is several videos can be arranged to one display screen to play by this feature. Let's start with the first one type now. The first step is add videos. The second step is drag videos to the program window and play it in the window. Click Edit Display so you can make the layout of stage and output in this area. And Add Screen, you can choose the location screen you want to display, then click OK. Next, click Add Rectangle Surface or Add Poly Surface button. The Stage area and the Output area would appear the Rectangle Surface or the Poly Surface at the same time. Click Select button to move the position of surfaces in Stages area to select what contents you want to display in these surfaces. Then drag the surfaces in Output area to the screen and close this page. The third step is click the video in the window and make a new layout in Media Layout area by click the New button. Add Rectangle Slice in Media Input area. Select to move these rectangles in this area to choose what contents you want to display and adjust the rectangles in surface output area, close this page. There are three shortcuts to add the surface quickly. One is to hold down the shift key and directly drag the video on the left to another area. The second method is to select the video and click the rectangle button, which will make it appear on the screen in the same aspect ratio. And you also can make the quick slice by clicking quick split. The last step is clicking Connect button first and Display On button later. Your display screen would present the image you want to show then. For the second type. The first step is Add Materials to. The second step is drag videos to the separate program window and play it in the window. Click Edit Display. Add Screen. Then click OK. Add Rectangle Surface in Stage area. Move these rectangle surfaces to the screen according to the image proportion as you want in Output area. Close this page. The third step is click the video in the window and make a new layout in Media Layout area separately. Add Rectangle Slice in Media Input area and select to move these rectangles in this area and adjust the rectangles in Surface Output area, close this page. The last step is the same as the above. Please note the following points. First, after connecting, the software's playback window will be hidden. Once the Connect button is enabled, any adjustments will be updated in real time. Second, in the display management, when creating a new rectangle surface in the output area, the stage area will be synchronized. You can modify the resolution of different surfaces according to the requirements of the project. Third, you can add polygonal surfaces to accommodate irregular screens or content. This example uses a rectangular surface for demonstration. The last, if you choose to create a new layout first and then add a surface, the surface will be hidden. This feature is very suitable for large seamless display, such as music festival, concert, when you want to play more images in one screen. By the way, there are four ways to create a new layout. The first two are in the program area, and the last two are in the timeline area. In the program area, you can add the new layout through clicking the video to make a new one. You also can left-click the window and make. 
The new layout for window would be applied to all videos belonging to this window. In the timeline area, you can add the new layout through clicking the video to make a new one. You also can left-click the layer and make the new layout for layer would be applied to all videos belonging to this layer. Please attention that the video would use the window or layer layout by default. You can change the layout by yourself. If you have any questions, contact us. Hope you enjoy using this software.